Hello everyone, and I would like to show you one of the recent chess games of the legend Vishwanathan Anand with the white pieces, and his opponent in this chess game was Vesti So. So this was a, a rapid chess game in the Levitov uh, chess tournament uh, from 2023 in September 22. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Anand is half retired chess player. I think he is inactive. But sometimes in some special occasions, in some special chess tournaments, he is making a comeback. And in this chess game, he played a legendary chess game. So maybe you might see this chess game. It is a, an up-to-date chess game and people are talking about this game because it was a very beautiful game. Anand starts the game with e4. We have e6 by West e so d4 and then the French defense d5. Knight to c3, knight to f6, e5, defending the knight, f4, and c5. One of the most played moves in this position. So knight to f3 by Vishyanand, knight to c6, developing the bishop, bishop to e7, queen to d2, a6, d takes on c5. Capturing an a3, and after queen to f2, b6, and Anand castled, from the queen side, and he shows that he is ready to fight. Queen to c7, bishop to d3, bishop to b7, queen to g3, lining the queen with the king, and we have f5, king to b1, b5, and it is very simple. Basically, black is charging from the queen side, and Anand is charging from the king side. The real question is who is going to be faster? So bishop takes knight, capturing the knight, bishop takes on c5, queen to h3, knight can jump uh, on g5, so in this position, after pushing the pawn, simply g4. So this was the idea of Vishyanand, clearing the pet, and he is charging. So black is also charging, and this is attacking the knight. Well, maybe defending the knight comes to mind, or capturing the pawn, but Vishyanand is not wasting any time. And he simply captures the pawn, g takes on f5, sacrificing the knight. And Vesti so accepted the sacrifice, b takes on c3. Well, why did Anand sacrifice the piece? He played f takes on g6. And we have rook over. And Anand's next move was also spectacular. So, in this position, black is defending the e pawn with the rook, and Anand played another fantastic move. He played rook from h to g1. What a move! Sacrificing the exchange, capturing the rook, but now the other rook joins the party. Black has the exchange. Uh, well, basically, black is a rook up, actually. So white has two extra pawns plus the attack. So lining the rook with the king. And there are not so many pawns defending the king, as you can see. So this looks not very safe for the king, to say the least. So black captured on f4. And what would you do in this position if you haven't seen this chess game before? There is a killer move for white. Maybe Wesley so overlooked that move. So if I give you a few seconds, can you guess the next winning move for white? If you want, you can always pause the video and try to guess the next move of Vishwanathan Anand. Okay, so if you are ready, this is what Anand played. He picked his queen and he sacrificed on his six. What a move! A breathtaking sacrifice by Vishwanand. We have moving the king and not capturing the queen. Well, if capturing the queen, then capturing and that's check. And where is the king going? If king to f7, that's very simple. Promoting the queen. And if king to h8, then rook to g8 and black is getting checkmated. So after king to f7, promoting to queen, and this is also winning for white.
So rook takes on g1 and then rook takes on f4 and queen takes on e6. We have king to f8 and it is white to move. Anand played g takes on h7. And after this move, Vesti so resigned. What a game, what a game. <clears throat> well, in this position, let me show you the possible continuation. Uh, let me show you the most simple one. If capturing the queen, if rook takes on e6, then promoting the queen and white is winning. Check, king to e7, or rook to g7, only defense, capturing the rook, king takes on f7, well, in this position, white can play queen down, checking the king and winning the queen. Uh, but in this position, knight to g5 is better because there is force checkmate. King to e7, queen to g7, king up, check, check. And basically, black is going to get force checkmated. And there is no defense actually. So, after g takes on h7, you might wonder what happens if queen takes on h7 in between move. So if capturing the queen, capturing the queen. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? The solution is very simple. Okay, so this is the solution. Queen to d6, check. Queen to e7. Uh, and then queen to h6, check, king to f7, queen to g6, king to f8, and then queen to g8, check, mate. There is no defense. So, uh, okay, what do you think about this chess game of Vishyan? And he was 54 year years old when this chess game was played. Uh, as a 54 years older, he simply destroyed his opponent, uh, his uh, very high-rated opponent. So it was a fantastic chess game by Vishyanand. So did you see this move? Queen takes on e6 and then capturing the pawn. And this was the winning combination. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.